Hi guys, I'm Kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel and to my mate Simple Attack Strategy Series. And who's in the army camp today? It's Dave the Dragon and his friends. So we've got a beautiful and easy to use attack strategy for you. We're going to watch some replays in just a moment where I'll show you how to use it. First of all, let's meet the troops though. So your army is going to consist of eight balloons, seven dragons, two baby dragons, eight super minions and two minions. And of course, one of those minions is Mike the Minion. If he's on the battlefield, you've got a really good chance of getting three stars. Your spells are going to be one rage, two freeze, four invisibility spells, and three skeleton spells. We're going to be using the blizzard attack in the battle blimp, guys, which means your clan castle troops are going to be four super wizards and five barbarians. Your donated clan castle spells will be a rage spell and a poison spell to sprinkle on top. And we're normally going to be using the battle blimp. Heroes and pets are going to be the king and Zach the Yak, the queen and Lassie. The Grand Warden and the Electro Owl and the Unicorn will go with the Royal Champion. Yes, guys. So we're going to jump into our first replay in just a moment. Before we do, just a quick reminder on this channel, we've got something called Channel Memberships. That's where you can officially help support the channel on YouTube. And in return, you'll get certain perks, such as an amazing badge next to your name and at least once a month, a professionally built base design I will share with you. All the information about joining is in the video description, guys. Yes. Anyway, let's jump into our first replay now. Let's go. So through the clouds we go, and guys, the most important stage of the attack, especially I think on air attacks, is the funnel at the beginning. It's funnel time. You need to really concentrate on funneling your troops into the base. Otherwise, the dragons, the super minions just go around the outside of the base, and it's, it can be a disaster. So it's up to you. Sometimes you send the king and queen in together. Sometimes the king one side, the queen the other side. We've sent them both in there. I want to sort of get into that second layer of the base and cause some damage. And unfortunately, we do have four ground expos, which does sort of make it not as effective as I would like. On the other side, we've sent in a dragon and baby dragon. That's the funnel complete. And then normally I'd say either your dragons first or your balloons first, but definitely the super minions are sort of backup. Uh, grand Warden on air mode, of course. And what you want to do now, guys, Send in your battle blimp through the center of your troops and use that Grand Warden ability to protect the troops and more importantly, the battle blimp. Obviously put down a poison spell on those super minions when you get a moment, but all your concentration should be on the battle blimp. You need to make sure it gets towards the town hall. But on this attack, guys, I let it get all the way to the town hall. You don't want to do that. Normally you want to manually deploy it just before the town hall. So just have your finger sort of hovering above the manually deploy button on the battle blimp. But before you do, Put down an invisibility spell, then manually deploy the battle blimp, then a rage spell, and then an invisibility spell. So the order is invisibility spell down first, then manually unpack, deploy the battle blimp, then a rage spell, and then you should have time to go back with another invisibility spell. Just sort of zoom in, see what your super wizards are doing. They're hard to see, guys. And I've forgotten that this attack hasn't gone very well. I've forgotten to use the skeleton spells, so uh, and we've got some free spells left, I think. So anyway, guys, yes, that could have been better. Centralized town hall base now. So with these bases, I don't really feel like you get much value out of using heroes. Uh, but you've got to, guys, you've still got to funnel the base. So where are we going to go? We're going to send in the king and queen up there. Take out the clan castle troops and hopefully the royal champion as well. That's the main priority. Use a your poison spell, of course. Some unconventional clan castle troops there, including a bowler. I think that's Bob the bowler. We're going to take out the royal champion in a moment as well. Uh, Lassie uh, helping out there. We've sent in a baby dragon over on the right hand side. So that's the other side of our funnel now. Baby dragons are great uh, as long as they don't sort of fly into an air mine. You might want to use a uh, <clears throat> you might want to use a balloon to check. Anyway, so sorry, I've decided actually we're going to go and try and take out that compartment with some balloons. We've sort of improvised here a little bit. Uh, and there we go. There's the dragons in the center. Then the super minions. Where's the grand warden? There he is. And now we're going to send in the battle blimp. Now, it never feels right really using Blizzard Attack on a centralized town hall because you don't really get too much value. We're hopefully going to take out the town hall and that uh, Inferno Tower. So same again, visibility spell down, unpack the uh, battle blimp and then more then a rage spell, then more invisibility spells. It is really easy to do, guys, when you get the hang of it. Um, I would say just keep practicing. I know some of you said in comments to me, it's a moose, it's too difficult or it's hard, you know, but it's so important to use the blizzard attack. Uh, I mean, it hasn't been too effective on this base, I guess, but for the majority of bases, you want to be able to take out that town hall, surrounding targets, and keep your main army away from the uh, from the um, poison bomb. So the Royal Champion is doing a good job here, going through the base. You've got the enemy queen there as well. Use those skeleton spells to distract opponents, uh, heroes, and defenses. 
And I think the Super Wizards are still moving through the... Well, they were. There was a Super Wizard left. And the Royal Champion is going to be the key here. She is doing a great job moving through the base. You might want to send in the Royal Champion initially with the main army, or you might want to just sort of have a think about when to send her in. And there he is. Mike the Minion is here, guys. And if Mike the Minion is on the battlefield, three stars are pretty much guaranteed. Where are you going, Mike? Where are you going? He's in charge now. Uh, I'm not actually directing the troops anymore. Mike the Minion is telling everybody what to do. The most valuable minion, MVM. And we're going to hide the gold storage, guys, just because we can. And the troops are saying, where is it? There it is, guys. There it is. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Join the Samus army. I will see you later, guys. Take care. Thank you.